Lesson number two, the love for Christ is the only valid motivation for service. What is your motivation for service? Is it your sensitivity to the need of others? Or is it your need or desire to be appreciated or loved by others? What about your love for God's people? Is that your motivation for service? The challenge with that is the love for God's people and our love for his sheep will not keep us going to the end because sheep sometimes can be unlovable insufferable unkind ungrateful and so if we depend on our love for the sheep we may find ourselves in a place of resentment we may find ourselves in a place where we get frustrated so what then will keep you serving others in your service to the Lord when the going gets tough? Jesus asked Peter, Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord. He says, tend my lambs. Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord. Feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord. Feed my lambs. In other words, Peter, before I commission you, before I call you to serve others, I need to know what you feel for me. Do you love me? Because only a true and genuine love for God is a sufficient motivation for service. And so the question is, does your spiritual service, your ministerial service, does it proceed from your love for God? Are you serving your neighbors, your friends, the brethren at church, the indigent, the poor, the helpless? Are you serving them because you just love the Lord? You are devoted to the Lord? Or is there some other reason? Are you placing service to Christ ahead of your love for Christ? Let's get it right. It's important that we do not put the cart before the horse. The only true, lasting, genuine service will come from will proceed from, will flow from a love for Jesus Christ. Do you love him? If you love him, then you can serve him. And to serve him, serve your brethren. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, Join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.